Hello, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepi at gmail.com. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to help traders to build algorithm trading robots. It can backtest and live trade with inter interactive brokers, Robinhood, and TD Ameritrade. You can download iBridgePy from www.ibridgepi.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more tutorials are coming. Main feature, which is to build a stock screener to find most active stocks. The goal of this stock screener is to find the top 10 most active stocks with price higher than $100. The definition of most active stock is the contracts with the highest trading volume today in terms of shares. So this is the stock screener provided, the result of this stock screener is provided by interactive broker directly. And iBridgePay uh, pulled the scanner result from IB server. This is the premium feature in AbridgePy. The function name is called get screener results. The first thing you need to define is universe. So universe is think about what kind of stocks, uh, what, what group of stocks you want to screen using your stock screener. Interactive brokers provide a different kind of universe. Think about you can put STK for stock and you can put other values to search for other stock universe. The next part is scan code. Scan code, you can change the scan code to other code to build other uh, stock screeners. But here I put most active. This is a reserved word so that you can build a stock screener to find the most active stocks. And then about price, this is a criterion you can filter out many stocks because you just want about price $100. Number of rows, depending on what kind of stock screeners you want to use, IB can return hundreds of results, but very likely you just care about the top 10 or top 20 or top number of stocks so that there's no need to get all of these results. That's why we can define a number of rows if we just want to get 10 results. The return of this get screener result is a pandas data frame with two columns. One is called, actually it's called rank, not rank. And the other one is security. Then we can let's go to iBridge Pi. Let's go to documentation. Let's take a look about the documentation of this function. So go to iBridge Pi and go to documentation, then we can go to get screener result. The get screener result function wise is pretty simple. It just accept keywords, key arguments actually. These are possible key arguments. If you are interested in more scan code, you can go to this link to find out what can be built. And as I mentioned, the return is a pandas data frame. It is open, so that is a great time to give you a demo for the performance of a screener and buy most active stock in, in real time. So let's first let's take a look about the code. In the handle data function, first step, what we want to do is to use the premium function get screener result 
to find the top 10 most active stocks while the price is higher than $100. Also, we just want to 10 top active stocks at this moment. And the return of this response of the function get scanner result is a panda state frame. It has two uh, columns. One is called security. The type of it is a security. And the second column is called rank. It's just tell you the, the rank of the row. And zero is the highest rank. Then we print it out. Oh, there's a typo here. Security. OK, then we want to iterate the response, which has the column of security. And then what we want to do is order each place order for each security. Use 10% of the portfolio to buy that stock. So that I want to use order target percentage. 0.1 means we want 10% of the portfolio to buy each stock. I got the order ID after this function. Then I want to use order status monitor to follow up on the order status until iBridge Pi sees the result is either filled, submitted, or pre-submitted, then continue to place in the next order. After all of the orders have been placed, we want to display the account information to see they become either position or orders in the account. After that, we want to end. So right now, market is open. So let's click run it. Run it this time. So we change it to runme.py, make sure it's correct, and then run it. So first, we can see the return of the uh, get screener result. And then we see the result is there. It changed. So this one. And then we can see the order are placed. We can clearly see the result. They are placed. And most of them are filled because I expect the market order, if the market liquidity is good, then I expect everything should be filled quickly. However, there's one order, even if it's a market order, we can see this one. And the status is still not filled, even if it's a market order. It's submitted. However, if I run, if I change to show positions, because this one is market order, I expect this time the order should be filled already. Let's just take a look. You can see the order has been filled already, become an order. And there are still some cash left. I expect this is because of the rounding issue, so that because the rounding issue of order target percentage, and especially after place 10 orders, there might be some rounding and add up to a little bit of cash compared to the overall portfolio value. It's pretty small already. So that, which means we have placed 10 orders to buy the most active stocks using the screen result. And this is a pretty good tool to rebalance your account. Thank you very much. For any questions, please send an email to ibridgepi at gmail.com. If you need any help on coding, please check out our well-known render coder service. More tutorials are coming. Please don't forget to subscribe. iBridgePi is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trading. Thank you very much.